India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is making waves with groundbreaking discoveries. ISRO recently shared insights from CHAST Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment, one of the four instruments in the lander module. But what exactly is CHAS's mission? CHAS's mission is to delve into the moon's surface heat conductivity and temperature variations. Its data aims to construct a comprehensive thermal profile of the lunar landscape. So what did CHAS's initial data batch reveal? CHAS's initial data batch revealed a huge contrast in temperatures above and below the moon's surface. The temperature graph painted a vivid picture while surface temperatures exceeded 50 degrees Celsius. Just millimeters beneath the surface, the temperature descended down to nearly minus 10 degrees Celsius. In simple terms, these discoveries suggested that the lunar topsoil doesn't conduct heat well, creating a sort of insulation for the layers below. Now, why is this finding a big deal? This discovery aligns with prior knowledge gathered from earlier lunar missions. Yet, this marks the first ever direct temperature measurement of both topsoil and subsoil near the moon's south pole. Temperature fluctuations on the moon are well documented. Day-night temperature differentials are immense, ranging from below minus 200 degrees Celsius to over 100 degrees Celsius. Scientists have diligently studied lunar temperature variations since the 1960s, aided by samples returned by Apollo missions. Now you may ask, why do scientists want to unravel these lunar temperature puzzles? Well, it's about understanding the moon in its entirely. From potential human habitation to material selection, these temperature swings have far-reaching impacts. The temperature shifts can lead to significant material expansion or contraction, shaking up experimental setups and infrastructures. And that's not all. Scientists are also piecing together the moon's chemical composition, radiation levels and seismic activities. The interest in water stems from this same objective. Water's discovery have multiple benefits. It can support people staying on the moon for an extended period. Water can also be split into hydrogen and hydroxyl molecules that can serve as fuel to power rockets into deep space. In the end, the goal is to make the moon a forever home, kind of like the International Space Station. Scientists want to keep doing experiments there all the time and have astronauts visit often. But this can only happen if they use the moon stuff to build things and get power from things on the moon, like hydrogen from water.